What's up, y'all? What's going on? What's up? Folks. I'm going to be the energy to her non-energy. I know. I. She just said she's so tired. So tired. But she, but she worked out hard this morning. I did. I had a good <clears throat> And not in the nasty way in case y'all was going there. You're the only one. That's maybe after. That's maybe day. after. You're, no, we ain't doing that. <laughs> uh, we ain't doing that. Too much work to do. Right. So, hey, y'all ready? Let's do Let's this. do it. Three, two, one. What's up, y'all? What up, Pete? What up? Welcome back to the Let's Make Out podcast, where we make out all things what? Love, life, and laughter. I'm your host, Gabrielle, joined by my handsome husband and other host. Chad. Yes. Welcome, welcome. If it's your first time, we appreciate you joining us. If you've been here many times before, then we appreciate you for coming back. back. Welcome back. Welcome Welcome back. back. Girl, (laughs) time we're about to drop an album with this with this voice. This voice of an angel. Oh. I mean, you got a little bit of work to do on your voice, but we're going to get you some <laughs> lessons, girl. We're going to get you some lessons, baby. Yeah, we know that's not the case, okay? But, uh, so what's going on, you guys? When we are up, filming y'all? this, it is election day. It is. No idea how this is panning out. So when you're listening to this, yes. hopefully we will know who the next president will be. Yes. Um, yes. But yeah, right now we don't know. We do not know. But I have um, my vote 2020 shirt on. I'm ready. We've yes. already cast our vote. So we have already cast our vote a couple, what, a heck, week and a half, two weeks yeah. ago now? So we ready. Yeah, we ready. We ready to, uh, for uh, election we night. Ready. Um, which is also Taco Tuesday night. Which is Taco Tuesday. So we yeah, were, so. you know, we decided, that's why we decided to vlog today. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we're vlogging as well. If you don't watch us on Gay Babe TV, then you should probably go watch us. Go subscribe, check us out, out. subscribe to this this channel if you're watching right now, Mm -hmm. or um, if you're listening and you didn't know you could watch us, come on over to YouTube at Let's Make Out Podcast and you can watch us. You can see our facial expressions, all of all of the things, all of the things. Yeah. (laughs) So, um, (laughs) what's been going on, Shadi? Man, it's been. We're getting more unpacked. Um, we are. We we the downstairs area. Um, the downstairs area has been done. It, yeah, it's done. Um, and then we've got the upstairs area where the bedrooms are do- the the kids' bedrooms are done. Mm-hmm. My office is very close to being done, and then we just got the bedroom in here. Yeah, to, the master bedroom, master bathroom. Those are like the two major things that we have and the, and the master bathroom's not like it just has a couple boxes with yeah, like it's got the, some boxes we need to you know just through. to hang the decorative towels up again and and the you know the few things that were in there but that'll be pretty easy um, yeah and then oh you guys so this weekend we're mm-hmm. actually going to start our basement declutter yes. process we have sourced the interwebs and have found help yes so i am so excited about this Me too. we hired um an organizing company it's like two i think it'll be her and her assistant and they're gonna come and spend five hours with us on saturday purging the basement yes. i have never been so excited to purge like so literally, <clears throat> the basement has been like this just weight of just mess you know what I'm saying? it's just so much but you don't even know like what is even down there anymore yeah so to just get in and there, it's a lot of stuff that we need to get rid of anyways yeah. so it's I'm just so about excited. it's kind of like when we talked about if any of you do watch us you know that we one of our old um friends and slash assistant at the time um uh, essence was like helping us declutter the house yeah, and, well, and our old assistant because she's not an old friend so well i mean yeah our old assistant slash friend because she is a friend um no we dumped her a long time ago <laughs> right our old friend yeah. no, no she's still a friend our current friend slash old assistant um she helped us declutter the house and it was just really good mm-hmm. to to have that so we're we're excited to do the same thing down the basement now that it's not my office because i'm using my office i'm going to remind yes. you guys every week he that is. i'm using it because she I was stand corrected i really didn't think you were going to be using that she'd be in there I chilling did not and it's so cozy i come in there and just sit on the little futon and watch tv you know, I know what I'm it's nice i get i got some, you get any work done with the tv what i do though what i do decorations are coming i have this dope picture i'm excited um it's nice it's, it's gonna be nice so it's just it, it's just really nice to have that area where and the kids know i'm gonna be in there that's the cool thing like yeah reagan came and spent like a few hours in there with me yesterday mm-hmm. She's just and chilling. just sat on the couch mm-hmm. with me and sometimes come over and get in my chair and snuggle with me and then go right back to the couch yeah. i mean so it's just it nice perfect the kids know you know just that where that's my are. spot you yeah. know so um so that's- 
that's really what's it. Like, I don't feel like anything else exciting has really happened. We've been keeping busy, been getting some work done. It's been, October was a very busy, like, oh my goodness, content heavy month for us. Um, so I feel like once we hit Sunday, all of a sudden it was like, yeah, like breathe we out. Could breathe. We Which is a blessing. So We're not complaining. We're yeah. so blessed. But it was just, it was a lot. And then a lot of stuff like when we were in the hotel kind of got pushed. So mm-hmm. it was just, yeah, October was just busy, 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 busy. Yeah, very. So November is, is steady. It's good. And it's going to be busy, and but it's not. It's going to be busy, but hopefully not as busy. No, I think that we were. A watch dingy? Yeah. Yeah, I got this new watch and the sound. I'm going to turn off the. Do the. Is it uh, this? Yeah, there you go. But then it doesn't vibrate or anything. It's weird. I got to figure out these settings because it doesn't, like when my phone rings, it doesn't vibrate. It doesn't show me it's who's weird. calling. It's a struggle. It's weird. But yeah. Anyway. But yeah. So it's, um, yeah. So I think it'll be, it'll be a busy month, but it'll be more organized mm-hmm. because, because we just, we're in our house. We're a bit more organized. We, yeah. you know, we can get our, you know, uh, we can get the homie slash photographer, you know, Cliff come through and get our, get our brand stuff for us. And so just, it's just going to be an easier process yeah. and, and more, more, um, organization yeah more streamlined yeah yeah so mm-hmm. uh well so let's cue the music i think you definitely need to cue that music yeah y'all, y'all ready for this Are you- y'all ready for this <laughs> make any sense how sleepy i am right now so i literally well it's her morning to get up with with, like with ray face i could fall asleep and take a nap right now i'm sleepy too because reagan decided to so she she sleeps most of the night in her room but she still comes in she's coming in earlier she's waking up earlier she coming is. to our room like four o'clock in the morning and early. and then it takes her a little bit to get back to sleep because you know she just is up but so she kicks and she's punches awesome. and moves she and she lays this way mm-hmm. well you can't see me but she lays horizontally while we're laying vertically it's yeah. just too much so we're both tired yeah um but it was gabriel's morning to get up this morning so she's a, a bit more tired than i am yeah i got up and then i took her and then i went <clears> to the gym i'm proud right? of you shawty you and said you were going that to. that felt good i did say i was gonna go to the gym i went when they first opened back up a few months ago and I don't know. I just felt it was a little bit weird. It was a little weird. I went one I time as well. Really I went like one time, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm not ready yet." So I've been, you know, doing my workouts at home, uh, you know, doing them at the hotel when we were at the hotel, and I'm just like over <sighs> home workouts, over them. And I just yeah. feel like I needed to get back in the gym to help myself get more motivated. Like yeah. I just feel like this past like couple months, I've just been out of out of sorts well like, i think i think at the same time too it, <laughs> i agree i think it's been both of us have felt that way but then also too is the basement is you know needs to be decluttered and yeah it's just and cleaned like, out so in in it's this you know it's just this process of you know, when your space is cl- cluttered your mind yeah is exactly so and then october was a crazy busy month like we said which mm-hmm. again it's a blessing um but it it threw us off um, so we're excited to, uh, yeah, we're excited for that. I'm glad that you went today. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I it went. Really felt good. I went last week one time, um, and it was nice. We both wear a mask when we go in there. We keep mm-hmm. them on, and because uh, it doesn't really affect your workout, your mask no, does it not doesn't. affect your workout. I will workout. say that it was a little uh, annoying on the under the elliptical. For I'm my sure, cardio. yeah. That was quite. But well, we can annoying. get you some like uh-huh. Under Armour and also New Balance has like ones that are meant for like running. And cardio. Oh, good, good. Because I tried to wear the thinnest mask that I had. Yeah, so and that, that is annoying. You know, yeah. So it wouldn't be so bad. But I was just like, whew. You know, I had to take it off a couple times, get them sipping my uh, BCAAs, and throw it back on there. But it's amazing yeah. to me how many people. I mean, I don't know. Everybody has a different preference, but there's so many people in there that didn't have masks on because it's it's required when you're walking around. But like when you're working out. It's not necessarily yeah. required. It's just like when you're walking around the space at the gym. But I guess that's the same thing as like going to a restaurant and taking your mask off. Like I feel comfortable enough going well, to I, a restaurant and taking my well, mask off. Well, but I think the difference the difference for me, I agree with you. I, I think but I think the difference is at a restaurant you go sit down. 
And then for us, when we get up and go to the restroom, we put, we put our, our mask, mask back on. on. Yeah. And most people do. You see most people putting their mask back on. Yeah, but like yeah. when you're sitting at your table, you're not moving. Like when you're at the gym, though, you're moving around each other. You're picking up the same weights. Yeah. Um, like so there is a lot more contact yeah. possibility there. So I feel like, you know, in my, you know, I feel like in the gyms, I, I just think that, yeah, sure, there's gonna be people that complain about it. But I feel like just why can't you make masks? Mandatory, mandatory at the like gym the whole time yeah, yeah now, yeah, now yeah. maybe maybe you can say maybe the 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 cardio machines maybe that's a place where you can say you know what you're stationary at the mm-hmm. cardio machine you're not crossing paths with other people you're distanced and they usually have the two blocked well they yeah. had the two blocked off it's like every yeah other. that's what i'm saying yeah, so you're machine. socially distanced and you're not going to move from that until you're done so i think that maybe the cardio maybe machines you can take your mask off yeah but if you're walking around the weight area working out you're you're going to a machine that someone else just got on I feel like this mask should be mandatory. Like, it's mm-hmm. not that big of a deal. The people that complain yeah. about it are going to complain regardless. That's true. Um, yeah, it was interesting. They did have, um, the when I went the last time, they had sporadic stations where they had, like, you know, bottles of spray, and you pick up your towel, and then you grab the spray and whatever. But this time... They have bottles. They have individual bottles. You yeah, grab, take it with instead you. Instead of, like, grabbing a towel, like a sweat towel, you grab a towel and a bottle so that you can wipe down everything that you use. And I yeah. thought that was cool because it wasn't like that when you I was know, it wasn't. Earlier. So, no, they're, they're so doing... nice to Yeah, see. they're doing and then better. they're disinfecting the bottles. Like, you set it down separately when you're leaving mm-hmm. so they can disinfect it before somebody else grabs it. Yeah. So, I thought that that was, that was good. Yeah. Um, that was good to see. That's definitely good. I mean, yeah. I think so. Yeah, I mean, it's just one of those things where it's um, uh, it's nice to ha- to kind of have that option to go back and yeah. do, do it again. We uh, paying for it. We've been paying for it. It's so funny. My friend was telling me that they had put theirs on Paul's back in like yeah. April. And I was like, I never even thought to do that. We've been paying for this membership and ain't been damn time. <laughs> <laughs> we, we helping the kids. We helping the kids. Okay, we helping the kids. <laughs> we should have put that mug on pause. So if you listening and you got a gym membership and you still paying for it and you ain't going, throw that mug on pause. Okay, pause. put it pause. on pause until yes. January when you know everybody and their mama gonna be in the gym. That's right. Regardless of what Corona is doing, because they got to lose them pounds. Lose them, yeah, lose them pounds. <laughs> so speaking of pause, let's put this podcast on pause so we can do this first sponsor. Okay, so um, today's sponsor is one that we have. Talked talked about multiple times before and it is better help h-e-l-p and um, better help was great because if there has ever been a time where you've had something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals i know right now it is kind of like a high stress high anxiety time we've got you know the pandemic we've got the election we have so many things like people can't see their loved ones the like holidays they want coming to. around the holidays are coming up so it's just it's a high anxiety time and better help will help assess your needs and match you with their own licensed professional therapist. Um, You can start communicating in under 48 hours. It is not a crisis line, though. So um, it's not self-help. It's a professional counseling service. So it's done securely online. And um, there's a broad range of expertise available, which may not be locally available in your area. And they service... um, clients net worldwide so wherever you are you can have access to this so you log into your account anytime you send a message to your counselor and then you get a timely and thoughtful response plus you can schedule weekly video and or phone sessions um so you don't have to sit like uncomfortable you know in that uncomfortable waiting room like you know you never know who's gonna come in the door who's gonna come out is somebody gonna see you like it's kind of awkward been there done that <laughs> better help is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easier easy and free to change counselors if necessary because we've both spoke about this and how important it is for you to feel comfortable with mm-hmm. your therapist because if you don't feel comfortable you're not going to get the full benefits so of get a new one therapy <laughs> exactly um, it's more affordable than traditional online counseling and financial aid is available better help wants you to start living a happier life today so visit their website and read their testimonials that are posted daily at uh, www.betterhelp.com slash reviews 
And um, for our peeps, if you go to betterhelp.com slash LMO, that's better, H-E-L-P, you can join over 1 million people who have already taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. So um, we have a special offer for our Let's Make Out listeners, and you get 10% off of your first month, and that's betterhelp.com slash LMO. So, uh, that's right. And so they've around. been growing so much that actually they, um, you know, have been doing like recruiting in all 50 states. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, they've yeah, been so expanding yeah, been expanding. people have been using it. So absolutely. So, yeah, just check yeah. them out. We definitely, definitely recommend them. them and uh, all right. So. All uh, right. Questions. Yes. Question time. Question time. All right. Which all book? right. We're going back to the book of questions. The book of questions. OK, we, there you go. We have it unpacked. So I don't know where the rest of them we are. We do not. So give me a number. Um. Oh, it's hot in here. It is hot. Let's go with 136. No, no, no. 46. Oh. For the 46th 46th president president of the United States. That we're hoping for today. The United States of America. Question Do you think that other countries have as much pride as America? Like, why do we feel like we are the best country? Do other countries feel like they're the best? Like, um, I feel like we're so arrogant. Yes, like, we are. I mean, there are great things that we do have, but like, no, I think that yeah, I think that that. I wonder if other countries have pride like we do. Yeah, I think. I mean, I think America. Yeah, I think America suffers from um, a lack of humility mm-hmm. as a country as a whole. That doesn't mean per- people. That doesn't mean you individually or us individually. It just it's means just as a country. What we portray to the world, mm. especially. When you know you have the wrong people in charge, yeah, we'll just say that, yeah, like you, you, you. I mean, you know, when you're in charge, you, whether people agree with you or not, this is what people are going to think of America, it is right. Yep. So, some people are going to love the person in charge and say, America's great, some people are going to dislike America and say, Wow, America's a joke, yeah, and we don't like that place. Mm-hmm. Uh, all those people are like that, which is not the case, but um. Yeah, that was just a random <clears throat> thought that I. Thought yeah, I think that yeah, we definitely about, we have a lot of haters out there in the <laughs> world, and and you know some of it's not our fault, and then some of it is, mm-hmm. you know, it's just a difference in religion. You know, I mean, there's so, so many, many things. things. Yeah, so many yeah, things. So many things. Um, and some of it is our fault, I think. Well, this, I feel like these questions are, are you know, 46, quite horrible. 46. Oh, okay. Yeah. Forty-five was bad. About as well, bad as well, forty-five <laughs> is bad. <laughs> <laughs> I would say about as bad as the forty-fifth. Uh, okay. Would you be happier with more control over what happens in your life or more control over your response to what happens? How could you gain more such control? Um, I think that, well, I mean, let's be, let's be honest. You don't, you can't necessarily fully control what happens in your life all the time. You don't have, you don't have the power you, to control yeah, it all. You don't have, you know, we don't have complete control of what happens. In our life. You have, you have the ability to, you know, try to, to, to make something happen, right? Yeah. That doesn't mean it's going to happen. Um, but what you do have control of is how you respond. Mm-hmm. And how you respond to what happens, you know, whether it happens what you exactly what you wanted, you get that. You have, you have, you know, the ability to respond in a way. If it doesn't happen Sorry. for you, then you have the ability to respond in a way. Mm-hmm. Um, that's, so for me, that's what I want to make sure that I'm always good at, you yeah. know, um, as is res- your response? my response, because that's what I can control. That is the that is the one thing that we can control. We can do everything, make all the plans, do all the things, and it still just may not turn out the way we want yeah. to. But how you respond says, is a game changer, and it says a lot about you. Yeah, as it's a person, a game changer. Yeah, and it's crazy. I I opened up my my Jesus Calling app. Have you read yeah, it today? Good. Yeah, it was a good one. But it it's it goes right along with this. So I'm going to read it. This is the Jesus mm-hmm. Calling app from today, November 3rd. Every time something thwarts your plans or desires, use that as a reminder to communicate with me. This practice has several benefits. The first is obvious. Talking with me blesses you and strengthens our relationship. Another benefit is that disappointments, instead of dragging you down, are transformed into opportunities for good. 
This transformation removes the sting from difficult circumstances, making it possible to be joyful in the midst of adversity. Begin by practicing this discipline in all the little disappointments of daily life. It is often these minor setbacks that draw you away from my presence. When you reframe setbacks as opportunities, you find that you will gain much more than you have lost. It is only after much training that you can accept major losses in this positive way. But it is possible to attain the perspective of the Apostle Paul who wrote, Comparing... Compared to the surpassing greatness of knowing Christ Jesus, I consider everything I once treasured to be as insignificant as rubbish. And then the scriptures for this is um, are many are the plans in a man's heart, but um, it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Proverbs nineteen through twenty or nineteen twenty one, and then devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. Colossians four and two. And then the last one is, but whatever was to my profit, I now consider loss for the sake of Christ. What is more, I consider everything a loss compared to the surpassing greatness of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord, for the, for whose sake I have lost all things. I consider them rubbish that I may gain Christ. And that's Philippians 3, 7 through 8. Yeah. So that I read that because literally it's all about how you respond to Absolutely. things. Like... I think, man, no, I I did an Instagram, Instagram post yesterday, um, literally saying, saying just that is like, you know, like when you're, you know, saying something similar to the fact of like, when you, when you're trying to spread positivity and, you know, love and, and hope and just, um, it's not always going to be easy. Mm -hmm. It's not going to always go the way that you want. It's, you're not going to always have a good reception. You're not, you're, you might, it's true. But it's not about the reception that you receive. It's not about mm-hmm. the rewards that you get. It's about what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Um, the ultimate reward doesn't come from this world. Right. How does God see you? Yeah. The, the ultimate reward doesn't come from someone else's opinion. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, so I think it's important. Yeah. Just to, to think about how you respond to things. Yeah. And, you know, if you're not responding in a way that, you know, I mean, think about it too is if you're not responding in a way that, that is even worth it. Like, if you if you're upset because something didn't happen and you respond in a certain way, did it help anything? Mm-hmm. Did your response help change anything? If it did, awesome. You know, if you were wronged and you and you figure out a way to make it right yeah. in a and 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 to to help people along with, then awesome. That's great. But if it, if if it's not, then then you gotta like think, reframe your thinking. Okay, yeah. you know. What way can I respond that's right. going to be beneficial for me in the long run? And also potentially, you know, show someone else that there's, you know, mm-hmm. possibility, you know? Right. True. And I was I was just going to say the flip side of that is this is not to say not to feel the feelings. Oh, or feel, not the to feelings. feel the feelings. Absolutely. Like, but you got to decide how long you'll sit in that feeling. Feel the feeling. Yes. But let it pass. Like, don't stay there if it doesn't have to be like especially if it's a negative feeling or a negative thought like negative thoughts like you we don't even have to accept those like literally we can cast yeah. them away like you don't even have to accept these thoughts that come to you but like you know if you're hurt or you're angry or you're sad or whatever yeah. it's totally okay to feel the feeling like no it's okay to feel, feel the feeling, you absolutely but, but when you get wrapped up in it and it takes over your day or your mood or your like your everything like that's when you have to think about, okay, how can I reframe this? Or you know what? I'm only giving myself, and I talk about this with my therapist, like give yourself, like we worked on me, you know, things upsetting me for like a couple days to, okay, maybe just 24 hours. Okay, what about just an hour? Like literally you control how much time you give the thing. Yeah. So don't let it no, I, just take your whole I, I everything. like that. Yeah. I think that the, and what I want to add to that, I think that's great. I think what I want to add to that is when it comes to relation to responding mm-hmm. is feel the feeling, process the feeling, and then respond. Mm. Don't feel it, respond, and then process. Yes. Because most of us respond immediately after we feel the feeling. Yep. And that's where that's where, you get that's where mistakes can happen, right? Mm-hmm. Because you haven't even processed it. Yeah. You're in your feelings. Yeah, that's, ooh, that's a good one. So feel the feeling process the feeling Mm -hmm. and then respond yeah and i guarantee you there's been many i can i can say i've done it i'm sure you can Mm -hmm. that you've felt the feeling responded and then regretted after you've processed yeah yep so let's say something you 
didn't mean or you didn't want to say. Maybe you meant it, but you didn't want to say exactly. it. Like, you know, it's just all the things. And that that also ties into like being OK. It's OK to not say anything. Absolutely. After you after you process, like, if you don't want to, totally if you don't want to okay. address it, you don't yeah. have to. That's your choice. Yeah. But but yeah. you owe it to yourself to feel it and to process mm-hmm. it. You don't owe it to yourself to respond if you right. don't feel you need to. Yeah. Like, you know, and that can help with relationships, too. Like you don't have to have the last word. You don't have to one up the other person. Like sometimes it's okay to just let, just let it die for a second. Both of you take your time, think about it, let and it process be. it, and come back when you can actually talk about things. Absolutely. Like yeah, so many, so many ways you can look at that. That was a good question. It was a great that question. That was a great question. Let's hope my question is just oh, as no, good. No man, jeez. Uh, let's go with hmm. <sighs> 203. Crap. It's a crap question. <laughs> crap question. I can already tell. <laughs> Is it crap for real? No, it's just funny. Oh. If you were attracted to someone of another race, in what ways, if any, would your behavior with them differ from someone of your own race and why? <laughs> Story of my life. Story of uh, life. Yeah, so I feel like we probably need another question. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, it's it's not different. It's literally like, it's not a major difference. Like, there yeah. there will always be a difference, yes. I mean, yes, we, absolutely, there are yeah. certain things that I will probably just never relate to, certain things he may just never relate to, but literally, like, the ins and outs in the daily life, like, it's the same thing. Like, yeah, I think, and I think... Love is, the love is the same. Like, it's not... The love is the yeah. same. And I think that even though we can't relate <clears throat> to each other in, you know, when it comes to maybe, you know, like being a black woman or being a white man, mm-hmm. we can strive to understand yeah. from the other side. Yeah. And I think that's the important piece is that we're striving to understand from the other person's perspective right. that we can never relate to because we're not. Yeah, you just you know, won't ever. Re- we won't ever relate. I wouldn't, you know, yeah. and, and we, I mean, but I would never be able to relate to being a black man. Exactly. So, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, and that's why I've, I've said that many times that I <clears> just because, you know, I have a lot of, you know, friends that are black men doesn't mean that I can relate to being a black man. Mm-hmm. I, I yeah. will never be able to relate to yeah. that, but I can strive every day to understand mm-hmm. what it feels like to be a black man to support my friends. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think I mean, I th- yeah, but love is love is yeah. pure love is love, man. Yeah. So that's, you know, and that's what we've really discovered in our marriage. Um, how about 146? Oh, okay. I was going to say 146. And then I thought maybe I had done that one before. Wow. This mug looks lengthy. It is. What are they talking about? (laughs) (laughs) This is so funny. Read it. A psychotic online stalker fixates on you and mounts a relentless assault to ruin you through threatening emails, public postings, and horrible accusations and vile notes to your family, friends, and acquaintances the authorities can do nothing and everything has else has failed to help only two options remain learn to live with it or pay a large sum to someone who is will discreetly find and kill the person <laughs> which would you choose that's all it is i mean you learn to live with it story yeah. of my life you learn to live with it like yes. and if you and and here's the real talk there's not one person. So you get rid of this one person, somebody else frees up and does the same thing. Like, literally, you can't please everybody. Somebody yeah. gonna be mad. Somebody <laughs> so gonna be mad. you just gonna have to learn to live with yeah, it. Yeah, and you, like. you learn to live with it, and they're gonna have to learn to live with their angry anger and bitterness hey. for however long they decide to hold right. on to it. Right, like, you, 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 know, you do you. You, you do fixate you. fixate on whatever you want to, and I'm gonna fixate on whatever I need to. Exactly. And we life. gonna keep getting so. these blessings, because God <laughs> so is good. <laughs> That's the funniest. Why are my questions not like? I need another question. Let's need. Yes. Let's do a do over. Um, let's see. Um, one oh five. One oh five. Let's see. Three oh five. Take it to that. Is that bothering y'all? Sorry. When has your life changed dramatically as a result of some seemingly random influence or occurrence? Um, I feel like m- lots of times. <laughs> yes yes saying meeting chad saying yes to chad you know it i mean all of this stuff has happened but before then i'd say this the seemingly innocent thing of me buying a macbook pro because mm, i wanted a new laptop yeah, yeah i agree started a whole 
a whole thing that you now know is Gay Babe TV. Which is crazy. You, like, literally, that you now know is Let's Make Out Podcast, that you now know is Gay Flowers. That, I mean, like, literally all of the things. I I opened up my laptop at my nana's house and was like, hey, y'all, I got this webcam. I'm about to start talking to y'all. Who y'all was, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know who y'all were. Exactly. <laughs> But literally, like, I just upgraded my laptop and it had a webcam. And the rest is history. That's right. That's crazy. And like, it is crazy. It's true, though. I mean, the thing about it. It's so crazy. It's a definition of just, you it's know. It's crazy. <laughs> it's a definition. It, what it proves is, like, that when you go into something, like, when you do something with no real intentions, <laughs> you know, like, intentions. other than maybe just venting. You know, maybe just having an outlet. Mm-hmm. It it was my outlet. It was your outlet. That's literally you never, you didn't go into it like, you know, and just saying, you know, oh, one day this will be my full time business. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's always cool if that happens, but yeah. that's not that you just never know what God has for you. That's true. But he's, but you know, you can look back at moments. If you're a believer, you can look back at moments and see things, how they happened. Yeah. And be like, Man. wow. Thank you, God. Wow. Yeah. That's, yeah. you know, and, and that's. And that goes for the good things and the bad things. It goes for your mistakes. It goes for your for your successes. Mm-hmm. Um, everything happened for a reason, yeah. you know. Um, you you have been hurt by people and you have hurt people. Unfortunately, that you know that we've all made mistakes like that. But that's part of your life story. It's part right. of what was in your. You Hopefully know, there was a lesson. In there was a lesson. Too. You know, you yeah. got to take the lesson from it, right? Um, you know, and and it's just it's it's crazy. That's what that moment is there for you. Mm-hmm. It's just it is crazy. A moment of just. Of innocence and vulnerability. Oh my goodness, so much vulnerability. Like literally turned into just, Yeah. This. Yeah, which I think is 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 because there was so much vulnerability and authenticity, I think that that's kind of what has carried on. No, through. I think the donut burger is what carries <laughs> you on. That's that's <laughs> <laughs> He's one of my early, early videos. A friend, me and a friend went to the state fair and I filmed us trying the donut burger, which is actually really, really good. It sounds fire. Like, it's I've never had it though. So good. And I have not had it at the state fair since then. We're going to get we it next year. We have a state fair next year. We're going to get getting it. it. Yes, we're going to get Isn't it. Isn't that crazy if we have a state fair next year? Like, all of these. Yeah, you know everybody is like, man, can we, can we cancel 2020? But what if 2021 is the exact same? Like, who who says that January first everything is gonna be different? It's not like it's not. We could, this is going to keep going. Like yeah, no, we we've got we've got some time. It's so crazy. I think that there will be some. I was. It's funny. I was actually blogging earlier, and I I I shared the news with Gabrielle. So I I had. It's not not a huge deal or anything, but I had applied to be on the triathlon team for a brand that I that I like. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so it's a big thing. I mean, but I mean, I I don't think it's like major. I mean, I didn't do anything other than just apply, you know. I mean, but you had to get accepted. Yeah. So, so. basically, it's 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 um, Zoot Z O O T um, is a big triathlon brand that was founded in Kona, Hawaii, which is where the Ironman World, you know, the Ironman started, the Ironman mm-hmm. World Champions Championships are in, in Kona, and um, so I just applied. I wanted to be because I you know I know that you get a discount, and I know that the the team kit is really cool. It has my favorite color, one of my favorite colors, which is that. That lime green, that, that lime green, bright yellow. yellow. Yeah, I love that color. That that's my favorite color outside of gray. And so um, I applied. I got the email today saying that I was accepted. Um, and they only accept so many people, like yeah. you know, out of the in the in the states. So that was pretty cool. Um, so I showed her, mm-hmm. but then, but then I was talking about uh, in the vlog today that that I've decided that 2021, you know, barring you know COVID not being you know under control or are gone which yeah. that's what we're praying for yeah. not just so i can do a triathlon but just in, just general, in general so that there's no more people no more people dying and mm-hmm. no more nobody else getting sick that's the important piece um but i said that 2021 is the year that i want to do the full iron man oh yeah okay. so i mean that's really? let's do it man let's do it that, i have so many feelings about this full iron man let's do it i mean i mean i how i feel like how much and I don't want to be a dream killer, but how much time do you need to train for that? Like, <laughs> I mean, it can be, I mean, it can be, it'll be six to eight months of training. Yeah. But so like fall or late summer. I'm thinking about, yeah, I'm thinking about Louisville. Oh, okay. You know, unless yeah, we yeah. want to do a destination. I mean, it'd be fun. I think it would be fun to do a destination. Um, like, so maybe, yeah. maybe I think the one that would be 
that I thought would be really fun would be um, Panama City, Florida, mm-hmm. um, because then you know my family can come. They yeah. can they can drive down and and we can make oh, it like a family event. Yeah, yeah, and that's in like August, I think. Oh, so that's not bad. so it's in the hot time of the year. Longer than ever but, on our anniversary. But no, it's not. <laughs> okay. But but the thing is is that Two I mean years. I did one. I did Muncie in July and it was ninety seven degrees. Man, when I tell you it was so hot. I mean, Woo! it was so hot. It was so hot. and so so I can do if I can yeah, do it here, can do it. then in I can the definitely do it. Summer. Yeah, in the dead of summer in Indiana, yeah. which is super humid. It oh, would literally gosh, was. Yeah. I mean, the water was eighty nine degrees here, yeah, it was so it was it was hot. steaming hot, and I got it done. So, yeah, I think it's time. I mean, yeah. it's it's been a, a. I mean, literally. It's time. time five rounds <laughs> in for the UFC undisputed <laughs> life. Okay. <laughs> um. But yeah, no, I I just it's time, man. I've been yeah. try, I've been I've been wanting to do this for you know since I was for a kid, a man. So. Time. Yeah. It's time. It's 2021 will be the year that I become okay. an Iron Man. Okay, Iron Man. In my team suit. Suit. Bib. Your team suit, zoot. Team zoot, suit. <laughs> team, team zoot, suit. Team zoot, Ten suit. times. Fast. Team zoot, suit. Team zoot. Mm. Oh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> One time. But yeah, so that's that's <laughs> it. But I'm going to do some smaller, yeah. you know, sprint triathlons along the way. Um, and then. So ma- you only do, when you decide to do the full, ar- full Iron Man. That's the only one you do that you like. You don't do a half and a full. No, I might do a half. Will a half help you get? Yes. It'll help you. Okay. It'll be like a marker. So I might okay. still do Muncie again. Okay. Because that'll be in July and then I October. And then, then I have from July to October to continue the training. You always train for, I'm always going to train for the full. Yeah. But you do the half to see how you're doing. See how you do. Okay. And plus I want to do it again because I almost pulled out of that, you know, mm-hmm. that one. So. Um, you were not going to go. He called me and was like. I'm going to do it. He yeah. went to go pick up his thing. Just because I paid for Just it. Just because he paid for it. He's <clears> like, well, let me get my stuff. I'm not going to do it. He rolls up in there and calls me like. I'm doing it. I'm doing and it. I hadn't been training for like. <laughs> I got sick. <laughs> I got sick. Have you even done a triathlon at all then? No, year? I hadn't done a triathlon. <laughs> I, I had been sick, remember? Yeah. For like I was like two or three weeks. I had a cold. Yes. Couldn't train. Oh and But I said I was going to do it. He did it. And I did it. He did it. And uh, so this. So with the right training. I'm gonna do You'll it. Be prepared, I'm gonna be yeah. an Iron Man. Okay, that, Iron Man. When I come across there, they're gonna be like Chad Raider from Indianapolis, Indiana. You are an Iron Man. That's what they say when. Oh, is that what Whenever they say? you cross an actual oh, Iron when Man, you finish it. not a seventy point three. Well, yeah, it, I mean it's a half. Exactly, so but you a half Iron Man. Yeah, exactly. But they don't. <laughs> but but it's it's those words. You are an Iron Man it's that you like get when that. you cross the. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I'm excited. Oh. So that's why it'd be dope to put in a place where family could be there. Yeah, that would be nice. You know, looking that like, you nice. know. We can all, like, we can make a thing. We can just caravan. I, I'm not driving to Florida, so, so funny. I don't know. Well, I guess if we break it up, we split it up. Yeah, I think I would want to drive because I, because. Well, yeah, because you'd have your bike. I don't want to get a bike case. Mm-hmm. I don't travel enough to where I need a bike case. Mm-hmm. Bike cases, you know, they're, that's three $400. Then plus you have to take apart your bike, put that's it in there. It? No, but the three five hundred dollars. Well, no, bike is be no, no, it's not. It's not that expensive. But then you put, you take your bar- bike apart, put oh, it in and there. Then you have to. Oh, it's not something that. There's you been can, too like, many. Ho- ship. No, too many horror stories <laughs> of bike of long. your bikes getting lost, oh. bike getting broken. Oh no, we don't want to chance that. Exactly, like, like so. Like, what, can, um, what do you do? You just buy a replacement bike. Exactly. So yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not interested. So for me. But yeah, I guess we we split it up a little bit. Yeah, we go down to Alabama, mm-hmm. hang with the family, and then we all kind of caravan down there. Yeah, that would be fun. And then and then you know make the weekend of it because mm-hmm. it's probably going to be on a Saturday or a Sunday. Yeah, that'd be fun. And then yeah, I think it'd just be dope, and I think it would be. I would love to be able to do it with with all of my family yeah. and all of my family down we can have your mom yeah, mom and, and gracie, mom and gracie roll, come Nana can roll. we get yeah. us get us a nice place get a big airbnb in panama Just city make yeah. it a family like vacation to the beach you know yeah. uh it'd be dope hmm. okay well what is that date i'll find out for sure we'll let you on the 20th around the 20th <laughs> yeah but yeah so that's that's the goal yeah. and all of that okay because we're going somewhere for our 10th year wedding anniversary so that's the goal we're gonna um, do it yeah awesome look at you okay i'm excited learn something new y'all heard it here the same time that's right as me. oh <laughs> update update on the planners because we oh, told you about yeah, the, plan. the planners the planners are officially finalized they are. they are finalized i mean i've went back and forth great i mean uh great team that i've yeah. been working with as far as you know overseas and they've been she's been super awesome um but it's finalized I got the order today to place the order and pay for it. 
to start production. So proud of so you. So excited. Guys. And so um, just to keep, uh, just to give you a quick, there'll be two different color of like a, a men's version, mm-hmm. but but they'll be dope if you if you if you're if you're a woman that likes black or you'll gray, yeah, then bam, you'll love it too. So, um, but then there's a pink version. Mm-hmm. Um, that what is this for the ladies. That's dope. I love the pink version. I think it turned out yeah, really good. Cute. Gabriel had a lot of um, say in helping me figure out that final piece. Yeah, I have to look out. And um, so yes, <laughs> so there will be three options. Yeah. Um, coming soon. Coming soon. Coming yes. soon. And they're undated. So yeah, they're undated. So you even yeah. if you bought them in January or yeah, February, you'll be able to use it they're undated. So fifty two weeks undated. So you can use it from the day you start f- yeah. till fifty two weeks later. So. Yeah, um, yeah, we're very excited. So that's mm-hmm. happening. I'm proud of you, love. You should do all proud that of you. on your own. Thank you, boo. And guess what else is? Guess what else is in the mail? Oh, booty bands. They are in the mail. They are on their way. So yes. they will be on sale uh, the week of Thanksgiving. So yes. if you're on my email list for Gabe Fix Fitness, and if you've already signed up for the wait list, you will have first dibs to purchase because I only ordered so many of them. Um, so if you're on that wait list, you'll definitely know before yeah. everybody else. With, so you can get your beauty. yeah. And depending on the response, if uh, a lot of you still want want some after they're order gone, some more, yeah. Then we will yeah. order some more and get them here. So um, it's exciting. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah. You know, just trying out new things. That's so. right. Yeah, let's see. So we didn't really have a topic for today's uh, we didn't. podcast. We were just kind of like chopping it up. Um, chopping it just, just. Chop, chop, chop it. Chop yeah, chopping it up. Just, chop, just. Chop, um, chop, 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 chop. Do we have an Ask Gabe and Babe? <laughs> <laughs> I got all the songs, okay? Well, like literally. I'm going to look for Ask Gabe and Babe and she's going to. And I'll, actually, you look for an Ask Gabe and Babe. I was about to say I did the last one. Exactly. Driving. And I'm going to knock. For an ask there you go. And I'm going to knock out our final sponsor for okay. this year podcast. So, this episode is also brought to you by Magic Spoon. We've told you about Magic Spoon. Um, cereal. Yeah, we, we are cereal eaters. I mean, plain and simple. Been a, been a cereal eater. Cereal eater. That sounds different. I've been an eater of cereal. I've <laughs> been a cereal eater as well. So, uh, like, I love cereal. We both love cereal. That's like my late night snack. Uh, Gabriel always gets the first bite. That's just, just, that's just tradition. I don't ever, I always put when, since I, I measure mine, I always put an extra spoonful. So that way I still get my macros and she gets her bite. Um, but yeah, but the thing is with traditional cereal, you know, lots of carbs, lots of sugar, sometimes unhealthy. And, you know, and, and some of you probably just don't want to eat that. You're, you know, for you know, for whatever, whatever reason, whether it's a, a health issue or you're just trying to lose weight, cut back on sugar and, and carbs, then, um, you know, Magic Spoon is a great way to actually do that. Um, so they actually, a little bit about them, zero sugars, 11 grams of protein, which is amazing, three net grams of carbs in each serving. So they have four flavors, cocoa, fruity, frosted, and blueberry. Let's try this again. On three, which is your favorite, sweetie? One, two, fruity. Fruity. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I've been waiting for three. <laughs> On three. One, two, fruity. fruity. <laughs> I still think it should be one, two, three, fruity. Okay, after three. One, two, three, fruity. fruity. You're so cute. <laughs> um, it tastes amazing. Um, definitely too good to be true. You're, you're thinking probably this is a healthy cereal that, that it's, tastes it's good bad. It's, it's good. Um, keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, low-carb, and GMO-free. Um, so... You can actually go to magicspoon.com forward slash LMO to grab a variety pack and try it today. Uh, pre- be sure to use our promo code LMO at checkout to get free shipping. And they're so confident in their product at Magic Spoon that it's back with 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money. No questions asked. Mm. So that's magicspoon.com slash LMO and use the code LMO for free shipping. So thanks again to Magic Spoon for sponsoring this podcast. Um, so check them out. So did you find one, Shouty? I'm, I'm trying. I got distracted because I got an alert that my uh, order was shipped or that my order was delivered, y'all. I ordered a couple pieces from Beyonce's uh, oh, you're so Ivy cute. Park. And I'm like, ooh, is this my Ivy Park stuff? So I got I got distracted. But I She's so cute. think that I found one this okay. is actually from a guy oh really um it's okay. not a lot of times that we get guys that you know send us ask gabe and babe so if you're a guy that's listening 
don't be afraid to, you know, send in your situations. We want to hear about those too. So this is from, uh, he doesn't say that he wants to be anonymous. So this is from Nick. Hey, Nick. What's up, Nick? Um, you read it. Okay. It's long. <laughs> okay. First, let me say I really enjoy your podcast. Thank we appreciate you. you. Thank you. I watch it on YouTube. I'm hoping you can give me some advice on your next video. I'll get right to the point. I injured, I injured my girlfriend. Not on purpose. It was an accident, a very bad accident. Though she'll, she'll be okay. though she'll be okay eventually. Okay, here's what happened. We decided to live together and get an apartment. While helping me clean my old apartment, I got a stepladder and was changing a kitchen ceiling light bulb. At the same time, my girlfriend was also in the kitchen cleaning the sink. As I climbed back down the ladder, I missed one of the rungs of the ladder, propelled backwards, barreling into the love of my life. Thing is, she uh, she broke my leg but ended up injured. Wait, what? She, wait, thing is, she broke her leg? my fall, but ended up injured. Okay, I'm Oh, sorry. she broke his fall. As in breaking two bones in her leg. Ooh. Wow. Fracturing her elbow and straining ligaments in her neck. Wow. Now she is in, is in a toe-to-thigh cast on her right leg. Her entire left arm is in a cast, and she is in a hard neck brace. She will, will be like this for about a month. I've mm-hmm. apologized till I'm blue in the face. I've gotten her flowers, her favorite foods. I've weighed on her hand and foot, showered her with gifts and attention. She has forgiven me, but I still feel so guilty. Mm. In a way, I wish she would have just screamed at me in order to leave some of my guilt. But I know she would never do that. Do you have any suggestions or advice on how we, or maybe it's just me, could get through this? I seriously wish it was it was me who had gotten injured. Thank you for taking my question. I really hope you can help. Sincerely, feeling incredibly guilty, Nick. Aww. Well, I'm sorry, Nick. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry to, yeah, I mean, sorry. Sorry to the girlfriend also. Yeah, Did you say her name? I don't think no, that her name is in there. Yeah, so, I mean. What's your advice, love? I mean, I mean, it, it, it from what you're saying, it, it was an accident. Yeah. I mean, you literally were just doing stuff in, in the ladder and you, you missed your step and you fell and, and you know, and you fell into her. I mean, mm-hmm. I you know, I, I think that. It's not like you, you know, this is not like you did a WWE moment and you jumped off the top ladder to right. elbow dropper. I mean, right. you know, I mean, it seems like an accident. Yeah. And, and, and I think that yeah, this is, accident. yeah, accident. I th- yeah. And I think that you, you know, of course you feel guilty. You, I mean, if I ever injured Gabrielle on an accident like that, I would feel, you know, guilty as well. Mm-hmm. I mean, I feel horrible because you just love your life. You don't ever yeah. want to hurt them in any way. And, but I think that the important piece is, is that, you're there you're you're trying to you know you're helping however you can you cannot take the cast from her you can't take the pain but you can be there Mm -hmm. um and you can and you can and you can continue to just support and and reassure that it's all going to be good um but i would also say i'm sure that she doesn't want to hear you say i'm sorry a million times a million times a day Mm -mm. because if she said she's forgiven you then take that it seems like you've probably apologized a million times because yeah. you've said it in this email, this email a million times, which is awesome. That that shows that you are, you know, that you are sorry. Yeah, you didn't. It's not like you meant to do it, but take the opportunities of where you would be saying sorry to instead reassure. You know, uh, spend quality time, mm-hmm. pray with her, um, pray for quick and expedient healing where her body will be better than it was even before, yeah. stronger than before. Mm-hmm. Um, Find out ways that you guys can use this time to become closer. Yeah. You know, whether it's, you know, reading books together, devotion, a new devotion, um, whatever it may be. But but um, I think that you're on the right path of, of, but you've got to forgive yourself too. Right. Yeah. I, I was just, yeah, I was going to say with that. that. Yeah. Like, yeah, you, I mean, you have to, you have to forgive yourself, especially that you know especially when you know that she has forgiven you like accidents straight up happen like and then you have to look at this like thank god that it was only that you know like that it's only a broken i know you want to say only a broken leg but you know it could have been worse so thank god that it wasn't worse and that you both are still alive and okay and she will heal and you know all you can do is just be there to support her through the healing absolutely um you know like it's and it may take some time for that guilt to go away it's totally okay but it's it's 
it was an accident. I think you have to just keep letting yourself know that I didn't it was do it on purpose. An accident. You did not mean to do it on purpose. Like it's just one of those things that happened. And um, you know, help however you can. Take her to the doctor when she needs to go. Like be there, proper leg up if she needs it. You know what I'm saying? I'm assuming you guys have moved in, so you guys are living together. So yeah, yeah, like. <clears throat> help out the best that you can but it you don't have to it didn't have to be overboard like you know what i'm saying because you don't want to turn this into it's about you and yeah. how you know what i'm saying it's one of those things it's like i get it okay thank you 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 apologize but like she's the one that's actually hurt here yeah exactly. so <laughs> yeah um so i think that as long as you have sincerely apologized and she said she she's has, forgiven you she has forgiven you you are fine just keep doing what you would do as an awesome boyfriend yeah. you know what i'm saying like the things that you were probably doing before just keep that up yeah like, keep it up like this is not know, this is this is a time where you can do that can magically make I, her better like i agree i think that what we always say is that you know relationships become rocky when there was no foundation mm -hmm. when something happens and there was no foundation prior that's when relationships yeah. start to struggle it seems like you know hopefully You've built this foundation in your relationship where you treated her good mm -hmm. already. You did things for her already. You were there for her already. Yeah. You loved her really good already. So this right now is not a moment where, you know, the relationship is going to fall apart because this happened. She, I'm sure that she understands you didn't mean to do this. Yeah. This, this, this is an unfortunate incident, an accident that happened. But if there's love, the foundation is built there, then then you guys are going to get through this. Yeah. But it's not your but it's not going to help for you to sit in your in being guilty and feeling sorry for yourself every day because oh my god, I can't believe I did this. Mm -hmm. Of course you didn't want to do this. Of course you can't believe this happened. But right. what does that do at this point? Yeah. You didn't mean to miss your step on the ladder. It is what it is. Throw the ladder away, buy you a new ladder. <laughs> that relationship, I think you in the, the relationship with that cursed, ladder. Okay. I think I think that you and that ladder, you in the relationship right now. Like that that ladder Get rid of is no longer in your life. And you tell your girlfriend, like, look, I've let the ladder go. Right. We're moving on. And you buy a new ladder together when she's out of her cast. <laughs> I'm not playing. I mean, but I'm I'm joking. But yeah, at the I mean, same you time, have to find a way to like lighten the mood. Lighten the mood. So and, yeah, yeah. This, uh, one day, this is a story you guys yeah. will tell and you will laugh about. Yeah, it. go tell her that you dumped um, the ladder and yeah. the ladder's gone <laughs> out your life, and she might laugh. Yeah. And then, and you know what? You guys will go find your own ladder together. You know, like I mean, but 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 I think that yeah, like you, Gabriel said, you have to. You cannot sit and, and be miserable mm -hmm. every day because she doesn't want to sit and be miserable every day. Yeah, yeah. She's dealing with it. The physical and the in the you know and the, of the pain you know and and even the emotional of being mm -hmm. in a cast being in yeah. a cast sucks. Yeah, I don't know what that. Feels yeah, it's like, it's, but the I can it's the worst. It's the worst. It's the worst. So she doesn't need your misery to come in there and 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 mm -hmm. compound on hers. Yeah. Find out a way to make her laugh, make her smile, and for her to be reassured that it's all going to be good. Mm -hmm. And you guys are going to be again, like Gabriel said, laughing about this. Yeah. Years, years down the road. Years down the road. Yeah. yeah. You remember that one time I. Fell on the, off the ladder exactly. and, you know, you elbow dropped you in the cast. And all of that stuff. Yeah, it'll be a funny story at some point. It will because, you know, you because, she, yeah. That. But we we will pray that she she is healed, mm -hmm. um, you know, 110%. Yes. And, uh, and that your guilt does go away and that you guys, you know, move on and yeah. everything's good from this. Yeah. Uh, thanks for sending yes, that Yes, thank in, you, Nick. Nick. We appreciate we you. Our love to you and the girlfriend. Yes. Um, we, if, we, if we had her name, we would say her name, but I we know, don't. Right? So, so um, keep us updated. All of that Please let stuff. us know. Um, if anybody is listening and you have a dilemma, a situation, a question, just anything that you would like to get our non-professional opinion on. Because <laughs> we, just, we are not professionals. We're opinionizing we are the crap just, out of this, you know, okay? Telling us, telling you what we think about it, then feel free free to send it in you can email us at let's make out podcast at gmail.com you can put hashtag ask Gabe and babe in the subject line so we know you want it read on the podcast you can tweet us at let's make out pod you can find us on instagram and facebook and youtube right. at let's make out podcast that's right and we would appreciate if you would uh wherever you're listening to this um if you would rate and review uh, especially on iTunes. It definitely helps to grow mm -hmm. the family here, grow the peeps, yep. and um, also get this podcast out to more people that hopefully it can help. Mm -hmm. um, and um, yeah, if you're watching, subscribe to the channel, thumbs up, 
Um, and share it with a friend. Share it with a friend. All that all good that stuff. Good we stuff. appreciate it. We love uh, y'all. We love y'all. And we um, hope that you continue and we will try to continue to spread, you know, positivity, mm-hmm. love and hope. And because uh, that's what the world needs a lot of right now. Absolutely. So oh. we'll see you guys next week. Same place. Same time. Same place. I know. I was. I should have said same time, same place, but it came out. Same place. Uh, same place. Same time. You hear? I will talk to you <laughs> y'all later, come y'all. Back now, you hear? All right. <laughs> Bye, oh, y'all. Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> bless you. <laughs> All right, y'all. We'll talk to you next time. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>